Hi guys, Steph here, and Ava is finally painting her pumpkin. We will show that when she's all done. It'll probably be on tomorrow's video. So I have a card share and some happy mail. Sorry, there's paint on my table here. So for the card, I'm going to show you. I did a Halloween easel card because I haven't done an easel card in a while. I used this Tilda Witch stamp right there. I used these Recollection spiderweb blingy things. I used a dollar store paper doily. I used this Kay and Company mat stack and I used Oh, I think I used all but this purple harlequin. And then I use this one here. And this is another Kane Company Metric. And I use this right here, the star pattern, for Tilda's dress. And I also use this little pack that I got from AC Moore for real cheap and use this black and white polka dot paper. And the last thing that I think I used was this stamp set, which is Whiff of Joy, Magical Wishes. Yes. Whiff of Joy, Magical Wishes, and I used Believe in the Magic. And so this is the top of the card here. And I Copic colored her and just paper pieced the dress front and the spot on the hat there and fussy cut her and I did add some glossy accents to the bottoms of her shoes which yeah it's almost dry to the bottom of her shoes I added some green orangish and black and the purple flower up there and put some stickles then I used the black fence is an MFT fence uh, dynamic dye called um, picket fence and then for the white spider web I just used white cardstock and then the Martha Stewart spider web punch that Diane gave me I lined it up and just did both sides to make a whole spider web and then I added two silver recollections glitter spider webs and a black one in the middle so that's the front and then when you open it this is the bottom piece and I just did a similar thing I did the polka dot paper, the purple paper, a strip of white, and then I made the spider web again the same way with black. I used um, a quick cut scallop cookie cutter die for the, the oval, and then for this one I just used the regular circle die. And here's the Believe in the Magic stamp. I used another green and black flower with stickles on them. And then this here, is I used that Martha Stewart bat punch I got the other day and punched it out of the black glitter cardstock from Martha Stewart as well. And so yeah, that's the inside. And I believe um, I am going to put a small piece of cream right here for writing um, so that someone can write a message or up here, I don't know yet where I'm going to put that, probably back here so you don't see it um, when it's like this. So, this is my very first Halloween easel card, and I've only made like three other easel cards in my life, so I think it came out cute. It might be a little bit busy, um, but I had fun making it, um, and yeah, so that's the card, and then I have some happy mail that I got. So the very first thing is I got this beautiful thank you card from Cheryl, who is Scrappin' Cupcake 11. Cheryl, thank you so much. So she used uh, You Are So Thoughtful stamp, and I love that the stamp color matches the color on the flowers there. I love the color combo. And there's bling on there and border punches, and it's just so pretty. And then open one-handed sorry and I want to show you the message at the bottom she put that on there and I thought that was really cute and so thank you so much Cheryl that was so sweet of you to send a card I absolutely love getting cards um, more than anything I love displaying them in my craft room 
Um, and that's Scrappin' Cupcake 11. And then I got some goodies on the scrapyard. Nothing new there. So I got this CC Designs Cute Birgitta. And I want to say she was 4 or $5. And she's super cute with her freckles and everything. And then I got this Magnolia stamp. Sorry, I'm all stuffed up. And she's Pearl Tilda. I've been wanting her for a while. She is, um, sorry. She is the mermaid Tilda, and her hair is all going, and she's holding a seahorse that is so adorable. Um, I can't wait to stamp this out and show you guys that seahorse is so cute, and I've been wanting some mermaid images, so. So excited about that. And that was, I believe, 5 or $6, which is a major steal for Magnolia. Then from Crystal Irwin again, I got three stamps. I got this little fairy girl, and she's got little earmuffs on, or not fairy, I'm sorry, elf. She's got little elf ears tucking out there, and she's got little, she's an elf fairy, I guess, and I love her little elf shoes. Super duper cute. And then I got this one, which um, is just a girl holding um, flowers. And I love her little high heels and her pretty dress. And then the last one <clears throat> is this one, which is the little girl. And her eyes, when you stamp it out, are really cute. And she's got a little um, basket that she's holding with um, apples in it. Sorry, I had to look. Yeah, she's got a basket of apples. So super cute. Thank you, Crystal. And then the last thing I got was from Amy Murphy. Um, I got this Lawn Fawn stamp set, which is called Grand Greeting, and it's an older set, but I don't have it. Just saying hello, happy birthday, so happy for you, thanks so much, sending love, and two borders. I love the asterisk borders. And as you can see, it was normally $14.99. It's never been used. Um, hold on, honey, I'm almost done. Looks like you're making brown or gray. Um... And I believe that this was 8 or $10. I can't remember now. So it was a good deal. And then the other thing I got from Amy Murphy was this Bellbinder set. And I think this was 10 or $11. Another good deal. And it's labeled 19 Really like that design. No. Sorry. And that's what that looks like. Super cute. So that was my happy mail today. And my card that I finished last night. So let me know what you guys think and hopefully in tomorrow's video I can show you Ava's finished pumpkin when she's done painting it. Roll up your sleeves, honey. So that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Ava, say thanks for watching. <laughs> See you later. See you later. Bye, guys.